Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and convert them into electric. This is what we've been working on this week. Okay, so Dave has been in here working on the bumper and he's got the uh, driving lights installed really nicely into the lower fog light ports on the bumper. So that's really cool. He used uh, some plastic weld along with some angle brackets to uh, make sure it's nice and strong and it's not gonna come loose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna block off all of these openings, uh, probably on the back side here, so that all of these openings are gonna be completely blocked off. And the idea behind that is to stop air from passing through the holes in the bumper because that actually effectively increases the frontal area of the car and increases the aerodynamic drag. So by blocking off all those holes, it'll be like a NASCAR for uh, high speed aerodynamics. They like to block off the holes in the front of the car and that allows the air to go pass around either side or over the top of the car where it's much more aerodynamic than if it travels through the holes in the bumper and then it hits the radiator and then it goes through the whole engine bay and it just causes a lot of turbulence. So by blocking that off, we'll get a little bit of an aerodynamic benefit. Also, we got the uh, radiator fan mounted. This is a fan from the Nissan Leaf. So we got to uh, reuse some more parts from the donor vehicle, which is great. And we're using the stock radiator from this Nissan Frontier. We just had to get some hose adapters to go from this larger size down to the three quarter inch hose that the Nissan parts use. So that's really cool. And lastly for this week, we did more work on the battery boxes. So last week we had one and now we have two. So this box you can see is a little bit wider and that's because it's gonna hold the contactors and the plugs and um, a lot of the hardware like that. Whereas this one is only holding the battery modules themselves. Also, this one's gonna have the safety disconnect. You can see we've got a nice lid. I gotta do a little bit more work and we'll bend uh, these edges over and tighten them up, get everything so it's really nice and tight fit on there. And I still need to drill holes and install riv nuts so that we can bolt on and off the lid. So a little bit more work to do on the lids and the battery boxes, but they're almost to the point where we can start installing the modules and all the parts for real. And then lastly, I've been working on the bus bars for the batteries. So check it out. These are the bus bars from the Nissan Leaf. This was the one that came with the car and I bought a second one to use since we doubled up the stacks. And I went ahead and cut off these two because remember our stack is only 10 modules long, whereas the stock stack is 12. So I cut off two modules worth of uh, connections and we've got our 10 modules here. And then uh, likewise, we cut these guys off and we'll throw those away. And we just need these modules. Which we'll go on top for the additional two modules. So I'm redoing the bus or the BMS wiring. So you can see I'm trying to keep it nice and organized. I wrote all the numbers here on all the, the connectors so that I can get everything back in exactly the right position from where it's supposed to have been. And so these are the ones that are left over, which are gonna go up above to here. So basically what I'm doing is cutting and shutting these wires. The ones that need to be longer, I lengthen. The ones that need to be shorter, I shorten. And that's how you do that. So the next thing that I'll be doing is taking these looms, which I've already marked with the cell numbers on every single tab. And what I'm gonna do with these is install it into this bus bar and this one up here. So that's what I'm doing with the BMS wiring. Um, by the end of this next week, the, this should all be done and we'll probably be to the point where we can start to install the battery modules in the boxes. Or, um, well, I guess I'm speaking too soon because I still need to mount uh, weld mounts into the truck, uh, weld onto the chassis points where I can bolt these boxes in and out. So that's probably what we're gonna be doing this next week. So thanks again for watching. We're getting really close to being able to do the first drive in this Nissan mini truck, and it's gonna be so much fun. So again, hit the thumbs up, 
If you liked it, leave a comment and subscribe if you're not. Please leave a comment about what you want to see done with this truck. Uh, I think I'm going to do like a zero to 60 test and maybe a range test. Um, if you have any other experiments or testing that you want me to do with this little mini truck, put them in the comments below and we'll add them to the list. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.